Today we're at Pond School, home of the Eagles, and we're here to... All right, once again today we're at Pond School. We've got some 7th and 8th grade students in here with us and today we're going to be working on some patterns because you guys understand that math is just patterns, right? So if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, what is that? A pattern. It's a pattern, right? I'm just counting by ones. If I go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, what is that? Pattern. It's a pattern. And what is it? By twos. Counting by twos, right? So what's another pattern? 3, 6, 9, 12. 3, 6, 9, 5, 10, 15, right? So there's countless patterns, right? So you guys are going to work on patterns today, all right? What I'd like you to do is, on the paper that you've got right now, think of an original pattern, okay? So right now you're going to do this individually, all right? So you're going to think of a pattern where somebody's going to look at it and go, hmm, that's not quite as simple as two, four, six, eight, right? I don't want you to make it very simple. I want you to make it where they have to think a little bit, okay? If I did this, Think about the pattern. One, if you want to write it down, you can, all right? And it might be easier if you need to do that. One, three, six, oh. 10, 15, 21. What's my pattern? One, two, three, you're going up by one, and then two, and then two. three. Then. Right, you guys get it? So think about it again. One, three, six, 10, right? You guys see the pattern? Mm -hmm. It's not as straightforward as somebody just looking at it and going, oh, it's counting by twos or threes or fours or whatever. I'm changing it a little bit, okay? What I want you to do is come up with a pattern on your own that is unique and not very simple to look at like, oh, I got it. You guys understand what I want you to do? All right, so go ahead and make a pattern. Here, write these down. We'll see if any of you can get them. All right, write this pattern down. One, four, nine, 16, 25, 36. Okay, that should be enough. You'd... So see if any of you can figure out that pattern. You're adding by odd number, right? You're adding by three, by five, by seven. So here I'm adding by three. By five. Then I'm adding five. And then seven. Then I'm adding seven. And then you're adding nine. Then I'm adding nine. And then so that is one way to look at the pattern. You're adding right? by odd numbers. Very good. What is another thing I could have been doing? How many of you? Oh, yes. Um, you move, like, you, there's a number that multiplies both to equal that. Like one times one is one. Two times two is four, three times three is nine, four times four is 16, oh. five times oh. four is 20. When you take a number and you multiply it by itself, what is that called? Oh, uh, exponents. You're using exponents, right? And if I go three squared, wow. those are squared numbers, right? Which is nine. Right, so what we were doing there is doing square numbers. Make sense to you guys? So you both found the pattern, right? And you both explained it a little differently, all right? Have any of you come up with a pattern, a unique pattern on your own? What have you got? Um, 3, 8, 6, 16, 18, 48. All right, so you guys listen again. Write them down if you need to, all right? Let's see if we can figure out our pattern. 3, 8, 6, 16, 18, 48. So we'll give everybody a couple of seconds to see if they can figure out what your pattern is, all right? Let's find out what the pattern is. What was your pattern? Three times two is six, eight times two is 16. Then three times, wait, I messed up. Oh, you messed up? <laughs> <laughs> is it all right to mess up sometimes? Yeah. That's not a problem at all, all right? But what you guys are doing is you're getting the idea of coming up with patterns. And what you guys will do next at Pond School is come up with the specific number or pattern that I give you guys.